Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm John Craddock and I'm so pleased you've joined me. My mission is to create great technical content in awesomely simple formats. Formats from which we can all learn and benefit. My primary focus is going to be on Azure Active Directory Identity and Access Management. Stay up to date by subscribing and ringing that bell. A little bit of background on myself. I'm an engineer at heart and I started off doing electronics. I then went on, I developed real-time control systems for both hardware and software. And these were real-time control systems for controlling systems running at high speed, up to 10,000 millimeters per second. I absolutely loved the precision that was required. And I always had this motto, it had to be right by design. I've worked with every version of Windows. Um, some of the earlier versions of Windows I picked up and put close to the bin. I, I would never dare say I put them in the bin. In 1994, I started working with Windows NT and I was developing software for the management system for our real-time controllers. And I worked with the product group because I had a number of issues and I would discuss them with the product group. And then somebody one day said to me, have you seen this? And this was a really early precursor of what was to become on-premise Active Directory. I sort of fed back to the product group, had lots of discussions about it, really enjoyed that interaction. And then in 1999, I got a call from Microsoft UK and I thought, ooh, what have I done? Haven't I paid a license or something? And they said, we hear you know something about Active Directory. And I sort of thought, hmm, well, yeah, I've worked with the product group. Um, I've fed back to them. They said, can you come and tell us about it? And I went out to the UK headquarters of Microsoft and thinking, this is strange, Microsoft asking me to come and tell them about their product. But I formed a great relationship with Microsoft, which has gone on through the years. Um, I'm now a Microsoft MVP. I started speaking internationally for Microsoft in 1999 and then went on to do the launch events for Windows 2000 Active Directory in Geneva and also a couple of times in the States. After that, I've spoken at a huge number of Microsoft conferences. And I always had two great rivals. You recognize them? Steve Riley and, of course, Mark Rusinovich. And we were always being rivals for the best speaker position. And I thoroughly enjoyed those days. Well, I still thoroughly enjoy speaking at conferences. I've also done an awful lot of work with projects, uh, projects for international companies, projects for small companies at times, and projects for governments. And I was a lead architect on the initial UK government gateway. I started specializing in Federation in 2003. Uh, this was nothing to do with Microsoft. This was actually an IBM project. Uh, Active Directory with ADFS came along. And uh, of course, I'd specialized in Active Directory on premises, but then I got really involved with ADFS and I worked with every single version of ADFS. And of course, then I went on to work with Azure AD. I was thrown into teaching in 1980. Somebody actually called me from UNESCO and said, could you develop a real-time control system course for India? And I thought that sounds rather interesting. And I said, yes. What I didn't know at the time is I was meant to teach it as well. I went out to India and taught this course at a number of universities absolutely loved it. That was my first introduction to teaching. And I've always had this philosophy of trying to distill knowledge into something that can be easily understood. I love this Charles Mingus quote, making the simple complicated is commonplace. Making the complicated simple, awesomely simple, that's creativity. And that's what I try and be.
creative. And I'm always looking at new ways of presenting things, new ways of presenting at events as well. And it was quite interesting that last year, my son called me up and he said to me, can I come and see you, dad? And I thought, yes, okay, when? Oh, next weekend. And this was Thursday. And I thought, yes, what for? He said, oh, Fat Boy Slim is doing a concert on Brighton Beach. Oh, okay. Yes, you can come. Do you want to come with me? And I thought for about a second, I said, yes. There was a dead silence on the other end of the phone. But we went along, had an absolutely amazing evening. And I was introduced to Fat Boy Slim live. And what an awesome presenter. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat. I thought, can I use this? Eat, sleep, identity, repeat. And I thought, maybe not. I didn't get on the stage with Fat Boy Slim, but I did get on his video wall. So my mission and my philosophy for this channel is to provide deep technical content that's made awesomely simple. Join me and I ask you to help develop my channel by subscribing, ringing the bell, and please leave comments. Let's build a community of identity geeks and start something awesome together. Thanks for watching my channel. Subscribe for more free training. You might like to join me for my Identity Masterclass. Hopefully see you soon.